What is up everyone? Welcome to my 2021 Subaru Cross Track. <laughs> and technically, if you know, uh, I have a I have an 2018 Subaru WRX. So this is my loaner for the last week-ish. Uh, and we'll get into another, there will be a whole another video about why the Subaru or why the WRX is getting some, some warranty work done. But I figured while I have this, I might as well make a little video about it. And from the outside, obviously it's black and sorry I'm doing this at night because this is when I get out of work and we all know it's winter time so it's dark. <laughs> but it's a pretty cool looking car. I really like the the rims the stock rims on these things are actually super cool uh i mean they're not super cool but you know polished polished outside with the black middle i think they i think they look nice for stock rims looks like it looks like it's a floating circle right now um and i thought too when i got this car or when they gave me a loaner this is obviously like i said a loaner that it was going to be the base model of the imprezas or the legacies whatever they are like cheap of the cheap manual everything no, they gave me the sunroof, heated seats, power seats, uh, the cruise control that keeps you closer or farther to the car. It's got the the lane collision warning or lane crossing warning and the collision warning. Um, super cool car. It's got pretty good room in the back. It's got you know the the stupid little pull outy thing. Um, if you don't know to, if you just pull the size of these, that's how they come up. I move them all day long. Pretty good room in the back. Uh, you know, whatever. It's, it's about the same as like a mid-size crossover, whatever you want to call it. And then we go to the inside. And this had, I want to say a hundred miles when I first got it, but we do. We've got power mirrors, obviously power windows, cause that's all standard now, locks, all that, whatever. You've got your cruise control that's either closer to or farther away so bmw driver or old lady <laughs> tailgating um it's got a keyless start which is kind of cool um again this is all stuff that like <laughs> i don't have but i don't really think it matters just like that's just neat because it's it's nice not having to take your car your key out of the car <laughs> key out of the uh yeah put some light in here Woo! key out of the ignition to do it um it's got paddles I'm a paddle boy now. <laughs> this is still an automatic to me because if you can put your foot on the brake and sit at a stoplight without having to use a clutch, it's an automatic because the car is still figuring it out the end first gear. It doesn't need to do anything. But I've driven for, oh geez, probably uh, two, 250 miles now, something like that. And this is the, um, I don't know, it's sport button and whatever the I stands for. I the i to me sounds it stands for idiot because this car is gutless in i in s it's actually it's got actually got some pretty good acceleration especially if you're if you're using the uh you know the manual manual drive mode but heated uh heat passenger and driver's seat i still don't know what the x mode button does because i'm assuming it's like an off-road thing but whatever i'm not going to go off-road in a loaner car still got the you know sticker and everything uh, it doesn't have, I'm surprised about though, is it doesn't have a manually dimming mirror. My car has a manually dimming mirror. This one doesn't. So there's a thing. And it's got, of course, you know, all the touch screen, the, um, Sirius XM and all that stuff. Rear wiper, blah, blah, blah. All the, you know, all the things that you normally get in a car. But it is. This is actually, like, if I was looking for a pretty, I don't know how, to, I don't want to say pretty average. Like, you know, a, a mid-sized crossover, whatever you want to call it, like, this kind of car, this would be something I'd look for. One, because it's a it's a Subaru, and I you know I like Subaru. Two, because it's an actually it's nice to drive. In sport mode, it's actually got some pretty good acceleration. Uh, the paddles, I don't care about at all. If they have a if they have a manual version, I would get a manual version, which I think they do make. So that would be not here nor there because I wouldn't have them. Um, cruise control, I don't ever use because yeah, boring and. <laughs> It is kind of neat too when you press the, um, let's do this. So, brake, start. I'll turn the volume down so I don't get DMCA'd here. If you press the S or the I button, 
you press the S button, you actually get like a curve. If you press the I, it's the lower curve. Speedy, non-speedy, speedy, non-speedy. Non <laughs> so it is kind of a nice car. Like um, it's quiet, it's comfortable. It's a little bit rolly. Like, you know, I'm used to obviously a WX, which is lower and has harder suspension. So like going around a corner with this, you know, you get a little bit more than you do with, with the WRX, but the heated seats, mind you, when I got my WRX, I opted out of them because I didn't want, you know, the extra weight and the extra price. And it was like two grand savings or something stupid for to not have heated seats. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll cut out two grand. I've never had heated seats before. I'm not gonna miss them if I've never had them. While I have them in the loaner car, it's been on high the whole time and they do feel, do feel really nice on the back but otherwise um I, yeah i've done 254.6 miles this car had 106 107 what 107 miles on it when i first got it um and it does have the stupid the uh the european auto if you're at a stoplight for too long it'll turn itself off which i really really hate because for whatever reason with this car when you you're sitting here and it's off and then the, like you can feel it and when it turns on it goes Bleh. it actually like shakes the whole car and it's like okay well that's just weird and the one time i've actually looked i sat at a stoplight for like three minutes on my way wherever i was going i don't remember where you know three minutes total sitting at like stoplights and whatever it saved me point point zero zero eight of a gallon which i guess isn't bad for three minutes but it's like <laughs> eight hundredths of a gallon or something like that it's nothing um you know it's got the it's got your clock up there your temperature your uh, fuel range um that's your heat temp your da 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 you know all that stupid stuff you've got all of your um jeez <laughs> uh, yeah look at that i'm looking for the button it's literally right there boop now you've got your subaru link you've got your phone you've got your uh all your apps in here pandora da, 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 android auto which apple carplay which is cool um i don't know what aha is but i think it's a music thing travel link i'm assuming da, da, da. Uh, you got all your buttons you know media your phone apps uh radio so it's a pretty cool car i mean i don't i don't technically know how much this one is if i can figure that out i will put it in somewhere like i'll put it here Vanna White style. I'll put that in and I'll let you know. But for a loaner car, this is perfect. Um, it's comfortable. It's, I mean, I've had it 250 miles. I still have 170 miles to go in, in the tank, so it doesn't burn a lot of fuel. Uh, 8 out of 10. Easily an 8 out of 10. I would buy one of these cars if I was looking for something like this kind of range. I've just, again, get rid of this stupid non-usable stick and actually get a manual down there but otherwise and it's it's funny because i'm so used to like every time i stop at the manual pulling this up but i don't have to know so it, i get really like i'm like oh i don't need to pull that never mind i'll just stick it in the park Meh. yeah definitely eight out of ten um again this is a 2021 so it's brand new i don't know i like it you know, you've got drink holders, you've got your two drink holders right here, you got your center console, which is kind of funky looking. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it's like cut out, whatever. Um, and obviously your heating stuff, all, you know, all normal car stuff, but for what it is, it's really kind of cool. It's, it's got a nice ride, it's nice and smooth. Um, you don't, you know, you're not bouncing around all the time, and I mean, good on you, Subaru. This is, this is pretty neat. I mean, I have to say, I don't know if they do this. I'm assuming this is like a, a sales ploy because my car, they they have sent me a letter already saying they want mine, they want to buy mine back so they can, you know, they can resell and make some money. But um, uh, I don't know if this is like a sales ploy, like, hey, let's give them a nice car. Maybe you'll buy that one and it's more expensive. No, I'm not going to buy this car. Thank you, Subaru, um, for giving me a nice loaner while mine's getting some, some fixy fixes done to it. But, you know, I'm perfectly happy with my car definitely sticking with the little with the wrx's because small and quick and manual and small quick and stick <laughs> but yeah 
just wanted to while i have this car and while i'm driving around and i figured i might as well make a little video on it so if you are looking for a subaru cross trek um i'd say definitely test drive one because they are nice uh you know leather steel leather steel leather steering wheel um again the paddles are fun uh, it's, i've i've kind of dicked around a little, a little bit like you can you know if you're in automatic mode you can click it down if you're going up the hill if you need a little bit more but you know to put it in md or whatever they manual drive whatever they call it is and just use the paddles all the time just it just feels stupid you know <laughs> it's like oh boop 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 okay i'm not doing anything but otherwise it's a really cool car um like i said eight out of ten the only thing i don't like is a little it is a little bit you know you lean a little bit more than i would like especially considering from what i what i drive on a normal day-to-day -day basis and um uh, again automatic but otherwise it looks cool drives nice comfortable good on gas well equipped <laughs> if you get this model i guess um oh and i think there's a turbo in the engine i'm pretty sure the lady when she gave this to me was like oh and now they're turbocharged engines so it's got more pickup to it and i was like okay yeah pickup on an automatic <laughs> but uh yeah just my little like oh and it's got some really cheap uh fake carbon fiber like very ugh, don't even want to touch it <laughs> so but i think yeah all this too is like that like fake carbon fiber weave but uh yeah with that i'm gonna let you go you know do the fun stuff of like share subscribe comment uh yeah and uh follow the other socials and i'll see y'all later peace